Hello and welcome back to a brand new video where if you're watching this, I'm actually there, not here. That might sound really confusing, but as you watch this video right now, I am currently on the other side of the world in Vietnam and it means I have not found a way to post a vlog from Vietnam. So instead, we're going to be doing this. Now for a little bit of context as to what that is, it's basically a roof rack for my car because me and Jess have invested in a tent box, which looks a little bit something like this. About a month ago, you probably heard me and Jess talking about getting a camper van and actually going on some crazy road trips throughout Europe or like England, Scotland, all over the place. And that is exactly the plan. But these things can get a little bit pricey and it's not really in our price range to do it. However, this thing actually is. But in all seriousness, it is a big investment. And because me, Jess and Benjamin love camping so much, and we also like to move a lot, like we don't like to just stay in one place and just never go anywhere. I like to constantly be on the go, as you've probably seen by the vlogs. And this is a perfect solution as like a step in between the cars that we got now and the camper van. So it's kind of in the middle. Not only that, but it also comes with some really cool accessories that allow you to camp all year round. So that is the plan. Whilst I am probably enjoying myself in Vietnam, exploring all over the country, uh, today we get to put something on the car. And also, let's go down the allotment. Well, oh my God, it's been a while since we've been here. And my, my, it is a... Bloody gorgeous day today. All right, it's time to see what is occurring down the allotment. Hmm. Well, th th things are definitely growing. Uh, I can't say anything edible is growing here. Oh, maybe over there. It does look like Jess has put some runner beans in, but look at that. There is an onion in the ground. Look at the size of that bad boy. There is actually a lot of onions here. Oh yeah, look at these. I think we'll get a bag and take some home. My next question is, can I get into the shed? Do I still have a key? Well, it looks like I can just about get to the door, but bloody hell. The last time I was here, this didn't exist. Things are definitely growing out of control here, that is for sure. But inside the shed, I am greeted with lots of spiders and cobwebs that bar my way. But all I need is a bag, so that'll do nicely. All right, how many onions do you reckon we're getting from in here? Leave your comments down below. And if you guessed 15, you would have been right. But okay, I think it is time to go sort out the car and think of a plan of attack for this place. Because as you can clearly see, this place has grown out of control. And it'd be nice to take a leaf out of some of these guys' books and actually make it look a bit more presentable. But that is a problem for another day. For now, it is on to job number two, which is fitting this to the car. And I've unpacked everything and got the instructions out. It doesn't look like the world's most simplest thing, but I mean, how hard can it be? Come on. We'll just take one step at a time and it'll be done in a jiffy. First thing I need to do is just take these little bolts and put them in here. Mission accomplished. The next thing I actually have to do is put these on the end of these, but it's already half done for me. So that makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, tell a lie, that was actually way harder than it had to be. All right, next thing should be easy. I just have to put those things together. Now, you might be wondering to yourself at this point, hey, Orion, why are you doing this down the allotment and not doing this at home? Uh, and a simple answer for that is, uh, it's not very appropriate to film uh, at my house. Um, too many watching eyes and stuff like that. And I also don't want to dox myself. So here we are, sat at... Uh some random spot sticking rubber to plastic. But jobs are good and that was nice and easy. Now apparently I have to stick it to the car, which again you would hope would be really easy, but... Oh, is it easy? I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Ironically, it is actually very easy. They just slot in there and they click in. Okay, next bit gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, X, Y, I need to tie in it to the length of the car. Golf X. Oh, there's a fucking insect on my leg. What the fuck is that? Get off me. Yuck. Right, well, I gained a live audience for that one, so I couldn't actually film me screwing it in. But uh, I've screwed these things down now. However, it doesn't look quite right. I've done the measurements from that thing, but yeah, it's like on the side. Now, it's not meant to go this far back. I think it's meant to go more like here, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. All right, at this point, I'm just winging it. It's given me a bunch of measurements and I don't think I have a tape measure. So instead, what I'm doing is eyeballing it because I am man and I know how long 30 centimeters is because it's the same length as a ruler. So all right, back to it. I need to clamp it to the car. So all I need to do now is hook that in there, put this in here like so, and then screw the bad boy in. Realizing how bad of an angle this actually is. But there we go, we've got the front roof bar on. Meanwhile, I'm getting absolutely eaten alive by all of the bugs. Right, I've had to take a breather because I've just spent the last 50 minutes wondering why it's on the roof, but why these bloody bolt bars, these things here, 
weren't fastening to the roof. And it turns out there's two different types. There is B65 and B42. And I had no idea that in little writing, it said there what it was. So pfft. it's hard to concentrate when you've got creepy crawlies all over you. It's very annoying. But one of the roof bars are on and it literally is not going anywhere that is properly on. Time to get the rest of it done. Which is meant to be as simple as just slapping this thing in. Lord, give me strength. I had no idea that this is what I would be doing today. But yet, here I am, trying, it doesn't even fit. Right, I've kind of winged it, so I definitely need a, a tape measure or something, but I can always adjust it later. For now, it is on the car and this is not going anywhere, so at least we've got it done. Time to pack up all the rubbish and head back home. Well, Jesus Christ, I might as well be sponsored. Look how many fucking boxer shorts I've got. <laughs> and whilst I do need all of those, there's actually a big problem with Gymshark. And you know what? It's not even Gymshark's fault. It's Every's fault. It says it's ready for collection. But, oh my God, this parcel was meant to be delivered like a week ago and I, and they redirected it to like an inbox, like post box collection thing. It's like, oh, it's fine. There's loads around me. I'll just go pick it up. Not a big deal. But they sent it there for collection. It says it's ready for collection. But as you can see here, it says it's out for delivery and your parcel is on its way to you today. And it says here, you'll need your QR code to, or your unique pin to get out the locker. Which, could you have guessed, they've not actually sent me one. So my stuff from Gymshark is currently sitting in a locker somewhere because uh, they've not told me where it is, by the way. I had to guess the postcode of where it could be. And it's just in there and I can't get it. And there's no there's no customer service staff at every. I, d I don't understand this. It doesn't make any sense to me. You have to speak to some bot, chat bot, which sometimes can be really useful if it redirects you to a real person. Every doesn't do this. It just The chat bot doesn't help. And then you call them up and they're like, use the chat bot online. Every fix your shit. Highly frustrating. But anyway, it is what it is. Time for objective number three of the day. That's right, we're getting some new gear. When I get back from Vietnam, this thing will be arriving. And it's basically an upgrade for my setup to uh, basically increase my work rate when it comes to editing vlogs. Not these vlogs, but Tom's vlogs. If you guys didn't know, I edit for a living. That is what I do for a job. And I have a MacBook Pro. And then in this setup, I have like a 38 PC, gaming PC there. And then I have another old rig down there, which has got like a 2017, I think two really good gaming and streaming pcs but when it comes to editing it's not quite cranked up for the job uh, when it comes to like 4k content so i think it's about time we revamp my setup because with this pc this pc that new pc coming this laptop as well this whole setup is just generating a lot of heat and it's a lot of stuff that's just unnecessary I don't want to say goodbye to streaming, and I won't. I refuse. But I do think it's probably time to say goodbye to this system. I do intend on probably streaming when I get back from Vietnam towards like the winter period when I'm going to be spending a lot more time at home because it'll be dark outside and I can't vlog as much. Uh, but I can still stream off one PC, so it's not the end of the world for me to get rid of the streaming thing. It was just very, very useful when I was literally streaming every single day. However, as each day goes by, this is becoming more and more like a workstation and less and less like a streaming setup. So I think it's time we uh, we get the mount out, we set up a time lapse and we revamp this setup. So this is a little bit of a before of how my desk setup looks now. I don't expect it to look too different, but uh, it's always nice to see a bit of a before and after. So let's, uh, let's get on with the GoPro and uh, hop straight into a time lapse. Honestly, at this point, I have actually got no idea where we're at with the vlog. I am disheveled and sweaty, and this thing is... 
However, I have stripped out a lot of this stuff. There's just a lot of wires down there that haven't been organized yet, but the computer's gone and I've taken out one of my GoXLRs and I've left one there because I'm only using a one PC setup now. Uh, I'm using a smaller one because it just takes up less space and I don't need the big mechanical one. Don't get me wrong, this thing is probably one of the best things I've ever bought for streaming. I love this thing so much. I use it every single day. But this entire half, I literally never use it. All of the different sound effects and the reverb and all this stuff, that, like, I just I just never touch it. I only use these four. If, I, if it actually came with like eight of these dials, that'd be fucking perfect. But yeah, I don't use this half, so I'm just gonna go for this. But Jesus Christ, I need a, I need a break. I did not anticipate my day going like this at all. I, I don't even know what I've done today. It's been a bit of a mush. There's wires everywhere of just like extra cables because obviously I had two PCs set up now like my MacBook fits here perfectly which is really nice this, the whole reason I built this by the way is because it's perfect for my keyboard to slide under so I can use my whole desk like desk space if I ever want to um, but I found that recently I've been putting my MacBook underneath it and I really don't like putting it into there I'd rather put it on top so like I said, with the space saver and everything like that, it just fits perfectly there. Like, I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied with where everything is, but at the moment, it works okay. There is an absolute chaos of wires going on behind my setup, and I would love to clean it up. But there is very little point in me actually filming that, because I imagine for the time lapse, I didn't think about this like until I was actually doing it, that a large percentage of the stuff that you're probably seeing is my back, so you can't see a lot of what I'm actually doing. So. I, I would love to time lapse it. If I could get a, like a, a mount that glued to the ceiling so I could hang it down, I think they're called like L brackets um, for actual mounts. That would be so good for this because I could put like a top down perspective on it. But yeah, I don't have that. So for now, we're gonna just have to make do with like a before and after. Oh my God, what a day it has been. I have finished. I think. And as I said, my setup doesn't look too much different. We've got a new poster now. I've got rid of the old one and I purchased this artwork recently from a guy on Twitter. Amazing. I'm a big Final Fantasy VII fan and the detail on this is just so sick. I wish I could have got it bigger to fill the space, but it's all good. The, the guitars are back up. I'm watching a podcast. I've got everything hooked up. It's a little cleaner. There's less clutter because before there was just so much stuff. I've got like a nice little place to put my bag with like all of my recording software like recording stuff i can't even my brain is falling apart but i've got my bag which has got like my gopro and all of my mounts and stuff like that which i use when i go out and film stuff so it's cleaner it's better i have no idea if i can stream off it or if my camera works i've not even begun to look at that yet i've plugged everything in and as far as i'm concerned like the speakers work the go xlr that i plugged in works everything works how i want it to whether it can stream or not that's yet to be seen, but for now, I've gained some new plug sockets down there. I've gained a little bit of space underneath my desk as well. And I've gained space on top of my desk for when I do receive the new Mac Studio. That laptop will probably go back to being here and the Mac Studio will sit on there instead. So yeah, all in all, a W. But Matt, I have been at it for a long time. It's incredibly hot, so hot that I put the aircon on. Uh, I think I'm going to go out for a little walk and enjoy the sunshine for a little bit because Jesus Christ. Let's get out of these clothes as well. I feel gross. However, it is now the next day and I am feeling fresh as a daisy. The sky is gorgeously blue. The sun, by the way. Oh my days. It is a beautiful day in England. I actually like pretty much passed out after that one and uh, yeah, decided to chill out for the rest of the evening because I was just, <laughs> I was dead to the world. But I thought I'd come out today, finish off this vlog, go for a little bit of a wander, have some lunch. I brought a new, my new bag with me. And uh, I got some new glasses, but yeah, we're gonna go have some lunch, chill out. I, I might have a beer, you know. It's just such a lovely day. I might, I might have a beer. Well, I would have a beer, but I actually need to head home after this and go fix the railing on my car. Because if I roll this clip real quick. What about that one? It's actually right. hurt, it's actually right. painful. Yeah, that doesn't actually sound very good. Uh, I don't. I think I need to put the rubber seals underneath or something like that. I need to have a look at it again, but that's what happens when you wing it. However, I do need to pay attention to not get hit by a golf ball. So it would be wise to probably stick to the path, but man, you do, I had a fucking awful night's sleep. Literally midnight last night, I'm asleep in bed and I hear this massive thudding on the door. I'm like, what is that? I literally turned to Jess and I'm like, what is going on? She looks as shocked as I am. We go to the door and I look for the little peephole and there is, I don't know, like 10 to 20 police officers all armed, 
thumping the door, like my neighbor's door, to try and get in. And they're like banging and banging and banging to the point where they actually stuck a hole through the bottom of the door. I checked this morning and there's literally half a door missing. But yeah, there was basically a police raid at like midnight last night on my neighbor. It's fucking awful, man. I, really, I tell you, I've, we've talked about a lot, like getting a house and stuff like that. And yes, obviously you go from a, an apartment to a house would be lovely, but genuinely, over the last like two to three years, it's just got awful to live where I live. Don't get me wrong, the area I live in is absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this view. I love living where I live, but this, just my apartment block where I actually live right now, it just doesn't feel safe to live there anymore. It's fucking awful. But anyway, excuse my French. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this pleasant view and have some lunch. To which, can you guess? Yep, I've got me a ham sandwich from Tesco, uh, a packet of hula hoops, and oh yeah, got some starburst. I am beginning to get a little bit worried because I can hear people. Yep, there are people there. I heard a golf ball land like near me. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> maybe this is not a good place to sit. <laughs> and dude, I've just noticed. This woman here, the golf cart is automatic. I've never really been a big one for golf. No offense, but I find it a little bit boring. Um, but, ooh, get some live action golf for you. Oh, good form, good form. Feeling it out, feel it out. Ready? And a three, two, beautiful. Don't know where it went, not a clue. I think that's like 15 love to him or her. Come on, I've just realized if they like look up here, I'm just some dude sat under a fucking little tree filming them from a distance. It's a bit creepy. Hey man, I'm just having some lunch. Which was absolutely lovely. Man, the, the weather is gorgeous. I think it's like 27 degrees today. But I think we'll say goodbye to the amazing view. And I will say goodbye to you. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I know this vlog is a bit random and a bit all over the place it's because like i said i'm in vietnam right now if you're watching this video um which means i couldn't have posted one uh, when i was at home so it is what it is but uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up rain i'd appreciate that if you are new around here feel free to subscribe but as always it's been a ryan and i'll catch you guys next time Bye bye